Hey guys, good afternoon, good morning to some, good afternoon to others. It's 9.30 on the West Coast, 12.30 on the East Coast, lunchtime on Wall Street. This is Afternoon Updates. Hey, this is your boy, Harold Elam Jr., the internet guy. Hey, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Good afternoon, good afternoon, good afternoon. Hallelujah. Hey guys, this is Afternoon Updates. We're in another Why Not Wednesday. Why not do an Afternoon Update? The 7.30 drop, we didn't do this morning, but I'd have to come in and do an Afternoon Update. So I want to say good morning to those on the West Coast. Good afternoon. Good afternoon to those on the East Coast. Welcome to Afternoon Updates. Hey, this is the the uh, the prep. Uh, oh my God, we don't even have a name for it. It's Afternoon Updates. <laughs> so good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Hey guys, listen, the Afternoon Updates, is, is it was a podcast we actually started a year ago and we used to give updates during the afternoon but because i i did not do the 7 30 drop i'm coming this afternoon to give you updates updates on what's going on inside community investment club if you're joining us for the first time ever 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 and never been here before community investment club is a subsidiary of investment group partners investment group partners is a nevada-based corporation we're faith-based and we're the parent association over the community Investment Club. It's a private online community set up for retail investors. Our job is to oversee the day-to-day operations of the Community Investment Club. If you're on Facebook right now and you're watching me live, 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 that means you're already a member of the neighborhood. Welcome to the club. Hey guys, Community Investment Club is set up for us to teach you how to become better stewards. Stewards, stewards, stewards of God's time, God's money, and God's word. The afternoon update is allowing us the opportunity to show you what we do, why we do, and then how to update yourself if you're an active investing member. We have three levels of membership. Three, you could be an active investing member. Those are those people that participate in group portfolio club investing. We pull our funds together. We invest together. We grow together. We earn together. And we allow investment group partners to serve as the management or the fiduciaries over the community investment club. We invest in stocks. We don't do day trading. We don't do cryptocurrency. Currency. We don't do uh, Forex. We invest in the stock market. Long term investing in companies we already do business with. So that means that if I, me, like Starbucks, we invest in Starbucks because I spend money with Starbucks. Part of being a good steward is knowing that you're supposed to get a return on whatever God has entrusted to you. And he tells us that in Matthew, when you go to the book of Matthew, um, if you go to Matthew 25 and 14, and I'm reading out of the Amplified version today, so it may sound a little bit different from the King James version, but Matthew 25 and 14 speaks directly to on stewardship and the return that God is expecting from you. So if you never joined us before, there are three things I tell you to go get before we get started. Go get your pen. Everybody needs an ink pen. Why do you need a pen? Because you're going to be writing stuff down. Go get your journal. If you don't have a journal, get a composition book. You need a journal. So whatever scriptures I give you, you can jot them down. So that way you can go back and read the scriptures for yourself and learn for yourself what God is teaching you about stewardship, teaching you how to be a better steward of God's time, God's word and God's money. All right. So we're going to Matthew. Matthew 24. Am I right? 24 and 10 an amplified version. Nope, that is not right. 25 and 10. Holy. Oh, man. Hold on a second. Glory be unto your name, God. Hallelujah. Pray with me, Lord. Pray with me, Lord. Hallelujah. We want to make sure we get you the right word. Always the right address. And it is Matthew 25 and 14. Hallelujah. Look at the Holy Spirit. We're going to read now. I got the NIV version 25 and 14. So we want to talk about the return that God would expect you at being a, a, a called righteous managing steward of God. So when we give you scriptures, these scriptures are related to a characteristic trait 
that you're supposed to implement into your daily activity or characteristic trait that you need to apply to make something work for you based on the end result expectation that God has for you pertaining to your finances. It's the same method that God uses if you're pertaining to being better, being healthy. Same if you need deliverance. Same if, if you want to um, overcome something that's bothering you. Same if you need to pray about somebody that's attacking you. So it's the same principles, but when you apply it to your finances, God puts you in a different position of purpose so that you can see the end result expectation he has for you. You can't see what God has for you if you're not connected. You can't see what God has for you if you don't have faith. You can't see what God has for you if you're walking in disbelief. So the first thing that God would tell us to do is we need to look first inside of of the return. What would you have me to do, God, with this word? Because I'm going to teach you how to be a better steward of God's word. What would you have me to do with my time? So I'm going to teach you how to be a better steward of God's time. What would you do with What would you have me to do, Lord, with this money? So I'm going to teach you how to be a better steward of God's money. Everything that God entrusts to you, he's looking for a return. And it's all based on your individual callings, your individual positions of purpose. So Matthew 25 and 14, write that down. It says, again, it will be like a man going on a journey who called his servants and entrusted his wealth to them. To one, he gave five bags of gold to another two bags of gold to another one bag of gold, each according to his ability. So when we talk about investing or when we talk about generational wealth, my job is not to teach prosperity. My job is to teach you how to obtain and prosper. When you teach somebody how to fish, you don't tell them to go fish and then bring me back all the fish. No, because that right there is a hireling. That is a, a need of what they call repeated business. Like when I was in the office supply business, yes, years ago, I used to sell office supplies. It was one of the greatest businesses, and I should have bought an office supply store. Nowadays, they're not doing as well. Office Max. That's an office supply store, Office Depot. But back in the day, if you broke your pencil, you had to go buy another one. They sold products that ran out, needed to be refilled, or needed to be replaced. That's what office supply does. Well, a hireling inside of the body of Christ is that person that teaches prosperity, but doesn't teach you how to prosper. So when God tells us, again, it's like a man going on a journey who called his servants and entrusted his wealth to them. Here's a person that's teaching you how to prosper. Here's a here's a characteristic trait. Here's Christ telling you a parable on how to get a return on what I get entrusted you with. So watch this. He called his servants and entrusted his wealth to them. To one, he gave five bags of gold. It doesn't matter whether it read five bags of gold or five talents, because I'm going to read from the NIV version. I'm going over to the Amplified version so you can hear the difference, because I want to make this parable make sense to you, because we're talking about generational wealth. If you've never joined us before, guys, my name is Harold Dillip Jr., the Internet Guy from Investment Group Partners. We're talking about stewardship. We're talking about getting to the next level that God would have for you and your money, your time in his word. There's something you was called to do. There was some, a place you were called to be. There was a word you were called to speak. You have to find your position of purpose. If your position of purpose is to, is to be a mother, then you need to be the best mother you can because part of what God has called us to be comes out of Proverbs 13, 22. It doesn't matter your position on earth. My position is a father. I'm still called to Proverbs 13, 22. Your position may be a mother. You're still called to Proverbs 13, 22. Your position may be to be a grandmother, a mother, and a, and a daughter. But guess what? You're still called and qualified to walk in the anointing found in Proverbs 13, 22. A good person, a righteous person leaves an inheritance for their children's children. So there are three parts to Proverbs 13, 22 that links up with the parable that we're talking about in Matthew 25 and 14. The first part of that, hear me out. Here's the first part. There's going to be a position. So a good person, a righteous person, an honorable person. That's your position. Guys, we're talking about generational wealth and how to obtain it. We're talking about the principles, the guidelines, the rules, the regulations you're supposed to go through or the characteristic traits you're supposed to apply to your everyday life. So you need to be in position. What's my position? I need to be there with Christ. I need to be saved, sanctified, filled with the Holy Spirit. I need to be in that position. 
Part of our positions is linked to our purpose. Part of our positions, you can say that to yourself, is linked to my purpose. So don't, don't focus on the position. God, why, why am I here? Focus on the purpose. Again, watch this. It will be like a man going on a journey who called his service and entrusted his wealth to them. To one, he gave five bags of gold position. To another, he gave two bags of gold position. To another, he, uh, he gave one bag of gold position, each according to his ability. So in your position, there's a reason why you're there. There's a purpose for the position. Doesn't matter where you are, it matters who you are. So in this position of purpose, and we found out in Proverbs 13, 22, there's three prophetic callers. The first one is position, a good person, a righteous person, an honorable person. In this position, you got to be a good person, an honorable person, a righteous person, because God got to trust you with something. He entrusted you with three things I know for sure he gave you. Hallelujah. He gave you what? He Listen, he gave you time, 24 hours in a day. He gave you 24 hours, so he entrusted you with the day. He gave you his word. His word. This is why it says, study to show yourself approved unto God. A workman that needed not to be ashamed. Rightly dividing the word of truth. Rightly dividing the word of truth. So he entrusted you with his word. Then he entrusted you with money. Some of y'all are not good stewards. You already broke. Got paid yesterday. You already broke. Got paid last week. You already broke. You don't have, you're not a good steward. So my job. Every day, all day, without fail, no exceptions, is to teach you how to become a better steward of God's time, God's word, and God's money. And it all starts in Proverbs 13, 22. A good man, a righteous man, an honorable man, a good woman, a righteous woman, an honorable woman, a good person, a righteous person, an honorable person, that's your position, leaves an inheritance for their children's children. That's the vision. Because some of y'all don't even have kids. Some of y'all ain't married. Some don't have grandkids. It, but you still got to see the vision. You still got to see yourself driving a better car. You still got to see yourself running your own company. You still got to see yourself married to the woman that you love. You still got to see yourself spending the money you want to spend. See, that's what the vision is. So wait a minute. It's like a man. I'm going back to Matthew 14, Matthew 25 and 14. We're teaching you how to become stewards better than you were yesterday stewards wiser than you were yesterday stewards smarter than you were yesterday hallelujah so he said then he went on his journey who was he well we're talking about the master we're talking about a man that had wealth we're talking about a person that entrusted his wealth to his servants or trusted his wealth to his employees or trusted his wealth to his children so a good person, I'm a good person, you're a good person, she's a good person, he's a good person, leaves an inheritance. So that means I got to work right now. I got to work while the light still shine. I got to work while, my, while I'm still breathing. I got to work while I'm amongst the land of the living because God has entrusted us with something. He gave me 24 hours in a day. Finish the work, Harold. He gave me a word, a word, a word. I'm giving you that word today. In fact, every day we give a rhema word. Watch this. Today's rhema word fits in with the lesson on how to be a better steward. Here's today's rhema word. Y'all ready? Here I am, Lord. Send me. <laughs> Hallelujah. Here I am, Lord. Send me. Ready to serve. Are you truly ready for this? There's so many of us. We're talking about, hey, I want this. But you don't want to do what it takes to get there. Oh, I want to lose weight, but you don't want to do what it takes to get there. Oh, I want to drive a new car, but you don't want to do what it takes to get there. I want to be an entrepreneur, but you don't want to do what it takes to get there. And so my job today, hallelujah, is to teach you the basic principles and show you the roadmap and the guidelines to stewardship. Biblically based principles on how to achieve the unthinkable, how to arrive at the unbelievable, how to get the desires of your heart as God has entrusted to you. Because he tells us in his word, if you, hallelujah, can be faithful over a few things, I will make you ruler of many. So he's trusting you with a few things. He gave somebody five bags of gold. Let me see what he does. He gave somebody two bags of gold. Let me see what he does. He gave somebody one bag of gold. Let me see what he does. All according to his ability. Then he left to go on his journey. 
The man who had received five bags of gold went at once and put his money to work and gained five more bags. Increase, increase, increase. Automatically. Didn't tell us how he did it. Didn't tell us what he invested in. Didn't tell him how he, but he had five bags of gold and he went and got five more. So he made an investment. Do y'all understand me? And got a return. God is entrusting you with the time. What did you do with the time he gave you today? It's already, what time is it? It's already 9.45 on the West Coast, 12.45 on the East Coast. What have you done with the nine hours? Hallelujah. Or the 12 hours, hallelujah, that you already been up. Had you talked to somebody? Had you smiled at somebody? Did you say good morning to somebody? Did you encourage somebody? Or have you wasted the time God has given you? He entrusted you with this time and you've done nothing. Hallelujah. So, so listen. So he goes away on this journey. The man that had five bags of gold, watch this, got five more. That's the return God is looking for. The one that got two bags of gold, he got two more. This is the return. This is why when you hear me talk about community a reinvestment program, what does that mean? That means anybody I do business with. I do business with Starbucks every day. God entrusted me with money, but I take a portion of that money and I buy a venti, hot caramel, macchiato, extra shot, extra hot. The stock symbol on this is SBUX. So we own stock in Starbucks. Who are we? We're Community Investment Club. We invest together because collectively we have more buying power. So the platform we use is biblically based to help all of us reach the end result expectation call from Proverbs 13.22. What? Hey, listen, I got a hat on. Endo, hallelujah. Endo is coming to North Carolina. Y'all know me. We've been, we've been doing business with right on brands for almost five years. We thank and praise God for them because guess what? We've been investing with them. Now we are partnering with them. Endo is their signature store brand. Signature store brand. So we decided, hey, we want to open up some stores too. So we're opening up stores in North Carolina. We partner with right on brands incorporated. Stock symbol, R-T-O-N. Righteous, Timothy, Opadiah, Nicodemus, R-T-O-N. So my self-investing members, there's two stocks. Don't follow me, follow the results. R-T-O-N, S-B-U-X, because I do business with them. See, because God entrusted me, so I have to have a return. Y'all are listening to me. I'm giving you principles that are biblically based so you can make the end of the day better for you. So you can have more month, more money left than month. Hallelujah. You can apply these principles in whatever you decide to do. We invest in the stock market because we truly, we truly spend money every day in the economy. 80% of what we spend every day in the economy is what a publicly traded company that we can have a portion of and get money back from. Exxon, did you gas up today? Publicly traded. Walmart, did you go buy groceries today? Publicly traded. Macy's, did you go buy clothes today? Did you pay your credit card bill? Publicly traded. That's just three of the thousands of companies that's available that every day you make a decision to do business with. So when we did this together, Community Investment Club, <laughs> Community Investment Club is a series of investors coming together. We're a private online community and we invest together as one and we invest together as one because God calls us a body of Christ. So everybody within the body comes together and collectively we represent one person inside of our club. We have 16 neighborhood managed group portfolios. Each of these portfolios focus on a different area of the economy. Each of these portfolios can have seven different companies or more and hold a hundred different neighbors or, ne or residents inside the club. These communities are set up as portfolios. So like we have the neighborhood economic income fund. It is a portfolio. We call them neighborhood managed group portfolios. Portfolios. In this portfolio, let's look. Hallelujah. We're still talking, guys, about stewardship applications, applying biblically based principles on stewardship to my everyday activities. So neighborhood economic income fund is a 
club that we that we manage inside of this club it can have no more than 100 members well this particular one can have more than 100 members we have 16 of these clubs each one of the clubs are considered a 3c1 under the rules and regulations of the sec a 3c1 can have no more than 100 benefacting members so every 90 days our benefacting members they show an increase we, we, we update you on the increase. So our neighborhood economic income fund is a club you can join. When you join the club, you become an active investing member. If you don't want to join the club, you can be a learn as you earn member. Doesn't cost you anything but your time. You have to do something with your time. We teach you how to be a learn and earn member. We teach you how to trade. Trade. How to, no, not trade. Let me take that back. We teach you how to navigate through a brokerage account. If you're a learn as your earn member, every individual family should have a brokerage account, just like you have a checking account, whether that checking account is at a physical bank like Bank of America, Wells Fargo or Chase, whether it's at an online bank or a financial technology bank like Chime, Cash App. PayPal, those are banks, too. They have routing numbers. You can do direct deposit. They give you a debit card. Those are banks. Also, regardless of what it is, every active investing member that's in our community, you should have a brokerage account. The brokerage account we recommend is E-Trade because E-Trade is easy to navigate through, easy to teach on, and it's a great platform to learn. What did we learn in Harold? You need to know what we do. If you're an active investing member, you want to know how the process works. If you're an active investing member, you want to track the stocks that we invest in. If you're an active investing member, even though you may not fish, you should learn how to fish. Because one day you might be hungry. <laughs> Hallelujah. And you can feed yourself. Hallelujah. So we're talking about the Neighborhood Economic Income Fund. Every one of our portfolios, guys, has a minimum member contribution to get started if you want to become an active investing member. And all of them have a maximum or some of them have no limits. The Neighborhood Economic Income Fund is $25 to get started. That is the minimum member contribution that you can add to your portfolio and you can get started. When you do this, it's an open portfolio. That means it's open for membership. It has not reached the capacity of 100 benefacting members. You get a dollar for dollar match. We have a match rewards program for new members who just get it started and you can get started right now or for active investing members who are not in a particular portfolio. You receive the first time you make an initial member contribution inside of one of our neighborhood managed group portfolios. You get a dollar for dollar match. So out of the neighborhood group portfolios that we have, we have 16 of them. Six of them are available right now. Six of them. So we'll go over the six that are available. But we're talking about first the Neighborhood Economic Income Fund. Inside of this portfolio, we invest in companies. I'm giving you the strategy now because every one of our neighborhood managed group portfolios have their own strategies. They're standalone entities. They're portfolios that trade on the stock market. Everyone has a portfolio manager that helps trade these stocks. We trade on behalf of the Community Investment Club. I'm a portfolio manager, so I trade. I'm the chief portfolio manager, Ivory Hayes. She's a portfolio manager, so she trades. Kimberly Schofield, she's a portfolio manager, so she trades. And we make the decisions based on the 16 neighborhood managed group portfolios on what we're going to buy, what we're going to sell, what we're going to keep so that we can show a return at the end of 90 days. Four times a year, you get a report. We're in open enrollment right now for active investing members. So let me educate some of my active investing members, and we're going to go through a series of FAQs. Frequently asked questions during open enrollment. It is a time for active investing members to do different things. You have different opportunities as an active investing member. One opportunity is you can update your portfolio. What do you mean? You can add your wife because maybe it's an individual portfolio. I want to add my wife, make it a joint account. You can add a benefactor. Oh, I want to add a benefactor to my portfolio. God forbid something happened to me. Here's what I want that money to go to. You can cash out, close and dissolve. What does that mean? Take your money and run at the end of every quarter. Once you've completed a full calendar quarter, you have open enrollment. You receive a statement. That statement tells me how much I invested, how much match I got. If you participate in a match rewards program and how much I've earned based on the portfolios I'm in. Every one of our portfolios is a club. So you can join as many portfolios as you want. That's called diversity. Every portfolio has a minimum of seven different stocks. No two portfolios will share the same company. 
So every portfolio has its own strategy, invests in its own segment of the market, has its own ingredients for profit. So we're talking about the Neighborhood Economic Income Fund. So the Neighborhood Economic Income Fund is a $25 minimum member contribution. Now, this particular portfolio is open to everybody. Doesn't matter whether you're big, small, because it has no limit on the amount of match you can get. But we can only match, be we being investment group partners, what we have under management. So if you put a thousand dollars in, you get matched for a thousand dollars. Remember, investment group partners is the parent association over the club. We manage the day to day operations. We're a Nevada based corporation. We've been in business for five years. We started in 2020. We incorporated in 2021 and we're going into our fifth year. Let me say it like that. So we've been well, it's still been five years almost Well, four years, four and a half, four years, two months, four years. Eight months. Hallelujah. We got three more months to go and then we'll be on our fifth year. Hallelujah. But we started in 2020. We incorporated in 2021 and we're the parent association. We're governed under different laws. The, the laws that we're governed under come from our board of directors. So that means that even as the CEO, chief executive officer and the co-founder of investment group partners, we still have to answer to a board of directors. There are things that we have to vote on. There are things that I have to get approved. But other than that, I help run the day-to-day -day operations. Our job is to oversee the community of investment clubs that we have. How many clubs, Harold? 16. 16 neighborhood managed group portfolios. Every one of these portfolios has their own strategy, their own end result expectations. Every portfolio has their own stocks. So one of the portfolios, this is the one we're talking about, everybody say it with me, Neighborhood Economic Income Fund or NEIF. So NEIF inside of this portfolio, I'm gonna give you some of its strategy. It buys stocks that are $20 or less. That's the strategy. This particular portfolio is the most aggressive portfolio we have. It's not the highest risk. It's the most aggressive. And it produces the most income than the other 15. And the reason why is, listen to what it says, it's the Neighborhood Economic Income Fund, NEIF. So it looks for stocks that have the greatest margin of profitability. So I'm teaching you now. So you need to know when you're teaching a person how to fish, you don't only teach them how to fish, you teach them how to bait the hook. You teach them how to cast a line. You teach them to sit and be patient. That's teaching. So right now, the Neighborhood Economic Income Fund, minimum member contribution, how much? $25. $25. What's the maximum? There is no maximum. Why? Because the Neighborhood Economic Income Fund is an actual fund. It is the only one out of the 15 out of the 16 that we have that operates as a 3C7. A 3C7 means that we can have more than 100 members. And we're unlimited on the amount of money that we can match for an initial member contribution. And that means that you can use the NEIF to your advantage getting in and getting out. But the NEIF is an income generated portfolio. So inside of here are stocks that are priced $20 or less and trading. Watch this. We look for companies that are trading 30 percent. Watch this. Greatest margin of profitability. 30 percent. What? Below their normal trading habits. Below their normal trading habits. Uh, we have to hang up. The young lady calling me right now. We'll call you back after the podcast. Hallelujah. So inside the Neighborhood Economic Income Fund is Ford. Ford Motor Company. It is a blue chip stock. It is an old company. Even during COVID and during the time that all other car companies took money from the government, Ford didn't. So Ford is an old company. You might not drive a Ford. You may not like Ford. Their trucks are the number one selling car in America is a truck and it's Ford. Ford Motor Company. Now let's talk about a little bit about Ford so you can see our strategy. So Ford is trading right now at $10.47. If you wanted to look Ford up for yourself, go to Google, type in Ford stock and Google will pull up a finance sheet. But if you had your own full service brokerage account, you can look the letter F up and F is the stock symbol for Ford and it will pull up everything and you can see what I see. That's why we tell you to get the word. So if I'm reading from the word of God, you can see what I see. You can read what I read. Sometimes you got to do your due diligence. This is God's way of telling you how to be a better steward. You want to hide something from a Christian? Put it in a book. I told you I changed that. I don't know I'm making an, F, F, an, an ethnicity thing. I'm making it a Christian thing. Because we don't read. And the Bible says that my people, let's find that scripture. Because I'm going to tell you what God says about us. 
We're going to find that scripture. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Let me give you that. We're going to look that one up first. But that ain't the one I was talking about. My people are destroyed. Hosea 4 and 6. So we're going to go to Hosea 4 and 6. And we're reading from the Amplified Version. Write that scripture down. Because a lot of us don't understand. A lot of us don't get understanding. A lot of us are failing. Even though it looks like we're not, we're failing because God says in Hosea 4, 6, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge of my law where I reveal my will because of a priestly nation have rejected knowledge. So wait a minute. We're a priestly nation. Wait a minute. We are a nation of priests. Holy people. Hallelujah. This is why I tell you, I get the Holy Ghost. We are a nation of priestly people, but we have lack of knowledge. Now, the reason why we have lack of knowledge, now we're going to go to 2 Timothy 2.15. Write that down. 2 Timothy 2.15, because I need you to understand why we have lack of knowledge. But here's what God tells you to do so you don't have to have this lack of knowledge. He says, study, I'm reading from the Amplified Version, and do your best to present yourself to God approved. A workman tested by trial who has no reason to be ashamed, accurately handling and skillfully teaching the word of truth. What? What? So listen, I, I need you guys. To, there we go. That's the one I was actually looking for. So we perish because of lack of knowledge. So here is our opportunity to gather knowledge in our position of purpose. What's my position of purpose? I'm a father. What's my position of purpose? I'm a pastor. What's my position of purpose? I'm a plumber. What's my position of purpose? I'm a police officer. Doesn't matter what your position is. What your, your purpose as a police officer may be the only light as a Christian police officer that the world get a chance to see, that other officers get a chance to see. That people on the street get a chance to see. Y'all better talk to me. I'm a fireman, but you're a Christian fireman. Your, your job is to show up and be a light. Your job is to show up and add flavor. Your job is to smile at the world with expectation that the world will smile back. But even if they don't, you keep smiling. Doesn't matter about your position. It's the purpose that outweighs your position. Exodus 32 and 9. We're going to go there. We're reading from the Amplified Version. If you guys are just now joining us, this is an afternoon update. To some, it's still the morning. On the West Coast, it's 10.02. Hallelujah! On the East Coast, it's 1.02. So we go from 9.30 to 10.30, or from 12.30 to 1.30. From 12.30, is that right? Hallelujah. 9.30. Yeah, 12. Or we go from 12.30 to 1.30. That's an hour. Hallelujah! Anyway, we are going to Exodus, Old Testament, Exodus 32 and 9. And we're still talking about God's people and why we perish because of lack of knowledge. Why we're failing even though we know the word of God. Why we're having trouble in our homes even though we know the word of God. We go to church every Sunday. We pay our tithes. But there are things that we're not doing every day, all day, without fail, no exception. This is the kingdom of God. There are some rules and regulations. When you gave your life to Christ, you're supposed to become a new person. If you're still doing things from old, you're not saved. You're just not. Y'all don't want to talk to me. Anyway, we're going to uh, Exodus 32 and 9. The Lord said to Moses, I have seen this people and behold, they are stiff necked, stubborn, rebellious people. This is us. This is what God says. And we have a tendency to follow that law or that what God tells us we are. But, but he gives us an opportunity to change. And then the world, who is the world in which the enemy controls the world. Y'all don't want to talk to me. We'll, we'll play on that scripture and tell us we're like crabs in a bucket. And so we act like crabs in a bucket. We're, we're, we're born through generations of, of, of poverty. So that's that that's that curse of poverty. And I'm telling you, we can destroy and eliminate the curse of poverty upon our families. How do we do that? We start in Proverbs 13, 22. You need to understand that scripture so you can move and operate inside of that scripture. The scripture says a good person, a righteous person, an honorable person leaves an inheritance for their children's children. And the wealth of the wicked is stored up for the just. You have to be able to apply biblical principles into your daily activities. Inside of Proverbs 13.22 Inside of Proverbs 13.22 Three 
prophetic callings, vid, position, vision, assignment. Write that down. Repeat that. Put it at the bottom of the thing. V position, vision, assignment. A good person leaves an inheritance for their children's children and the wealth of the wicked is stored up for the just. So we have to overcome the curse of poverty and open up the door of deliverance. What do we want to be delivered from? We want to be delivered from those things that the pagan world worry about. See, we're not supposed to be worrying. We're supposed to be praying. Bible says in 1 Thessalonians, pray without ceasing. Hallelujah. You're not supposed to be worrying about anything. Matthew 6, 33. Watch this. Then I'm going to get back to business because we got a lot going on and I want to be able to spend this last 30 minutes, not just on the word, but on business. So you can understand as active investing members what we got going on. So Matthew 633 says, but seek ye first the kingdom of God. Or excuse me, I'm reading from the NIV version. I switched over, but seek first his kingdom and his righteousness and all these things will be given unto you as well. Therefore, do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. And the reason why God gave us that, because he don't want us worrying like the world. He don't want us worrying because once you trust in the Lord. Once you believe that God, this is the infallible word of God, you're in a position of purpose. And in that position of purpose, God will grow you. Doesn't matter what it look like. All things work together for the good. You got to trust God. Doesn't matter how much education you got. God says, trust me. Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not to your own understanding. I got a big head. And there's a lot going on in this big old head of mine. But it doesn't matter about my dual doctrine. Doesn't matter about my education. Doesn't matter about my, my experience. Doesn't matter about the years I've been preaching or teaching. Doesn't matter. God says, trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not to your own understanding. Acknowledge him, him being God in all your ways. In all your ways. Hallelujah. And he will direct your path. So God will tell us where to go. These are some of the characteristic traits I need you to apply to your daily activities. We don't just be a Christian on Sunday. We're not just saved on Friday. Y'all ain't hearing me. You know, y'all ain't hearing me at all. Glory be unto your name, God. Glory be unto your name. All right, guys, let's get to some business. Hallelujah. There's a lot going on inside a community investment club. And I want to update everybody, everybody. Hallelujah. What do we start? Where do we start? Let's start with Indo. Indo, hallelujah. So we got a, a campaign coming. Indo is coming to North Carolina. Y'all better see it. We just got Indo is coming. It's a deal we did with Right On Brands. The stock symbol, if you want to buy Right On Brands right now, recommended by for me, 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 Harold Elam Jr., R-T-O-N. R-T-O-N. Bye, 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 bye. But we did a deal with Right On Brands out of Texas. They already had their 15 stores. They had stores throughout Texas. They got a store in Miami. But we decided to do business with them under a licensee deal. So we opened up stores in North Carolina. The licensee deal gives us an opportunity to come along the 95 corridor. I-95 from Maine to Miami. We're doing 25 stores in five years. We got three stores opening right now. Right now, as we speak, Right now, Travis Cutchin, who's our CEO of the North Carolina Wellness Centers, we're going to be doing business in North Carolina, Miami, South Carolina, Philadelphia, some certain parts of Tennessee, Maryland, Virginia. We're doing business as Indo dispensaries and wellness centers. Hallelujah. Look for the brand. There it is, Indo. So if you want to invest in the Indo stores as an owner, you can do $2,500 minimum member contribution. It makes you an owner. We're... Um, we're a S corporation, so you're going to get taxed on the money you earn and your money's tied up for 18 months. As an S corporation, it means that you're an owner. So you're investing in the first 25 stores. Store number 26, you ain't got no part of. So as the stores grow and as the income grow, so does your return grow. And we'll start getting paid every quarter at the end of 18 months because our money's going to be tied up for 18 months. Minimum member contribution. $2,500 gets you 1,250 shares. They're private placement shares. Uh, $25,000 is the max you can invest, but you can do different lots. So you can do a lot of $25,000 for you, a lot of $25,000 for your wife, a lot of $25,000 for your kids. Every time you do a lot at the maximum, it gets you 12,500 shares. That means that you're an owner in the first 25 stores that we're opening. We got three stores that are opening in North Carolina. That's where we're starting at. Doesn't mean just because the name North Carolina Wellness Centers is doing 
doing business anyway as Endo Dispensaries and Wellness Centers. This is the signature brand stores of Right On Brand Incorporated. They're a publicly traded company out of Texas. They already have their own stores. What we're doing is duplicating their efforts and we're building more stores on a different coast. They're in the middle of the country. They're in Texas. They have a store in Miami. We're looking to build stores from Maine to Miami. Any active investing member, any, you have to be an active investing member that wants to participate, you can invest. $2,500 minimum. That's the minimum investment. These are private placement shares. Makes you an owner in an S corporation, which means that once you start getting paid at the end of the first 18 months of operation, guess what? You got to pay your own taxes. You're responsible for that because you're getting paid as an owner. Glory be unto your name, God. The max some of them is $25,000. Endo! Endo! Man, they sent me pictures of the stores. I'm super excited. We've been doing this since the beginning of the summer. The beginning of the summer. Hallelujah. Everybody in that mama calling me. They don't know. Hallelujah! That I'm on a live podcast talking to you. You, 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 and you. This is the afternoon updates. So let me see first if I can find this video because I'm going to see if you guys got any questions. Right now will be a time to ask. I'm looking for the video so I can answer your questions. So hold on a second if you got questions. Second, let's talk about the Philadelphia Project. TPP. Hallelujah. The Philadelphia Project. Now listen, guys, if you want to know anything about the Philadelphia Project, you need an NDA. I can't tell you much about it, but we're asking that everybody sign an NDA. Everybody signs an NDA. We have a call on Thursday. So if you want to join that call on Thursday, you want to sign a non-disclosure agreement. All I need for you to do is contact me. Let me send you uh, an email out to Valerie Stewart. She'll send you a DocuSign. It'll be an NDA. But the Philadelphia Project is a lifetime of income. And that is something you guys really, really, and truly want to participate in. So let's go on to the third thing. What's the third? thing health care health care oh my god listen we used to classify health care as high risk in november of last year we declassified high health care and we put it at as a volatile still high risk but not classified as high risk because anytime you get into something that has a lot of volatility you're taking a shot you're taking a shot at it at losing money. But we considered healthcare because of the, the amount of funds that it brings in, the amount of return, and the breakdown of the different industries under the healthcare sector. So healthcare is now open. We started a healthcare sector community portfolio. Healthcare sector community portfolio. This is part of the 16 neighborhood managed group portfolios. $250 minimum contribution. Now, the difference between a portfolio investment means your money's tied up for 90 days. You get a statement. Your money's in the stock market. Your difference with an outside the market investment opportunity like the endo stores, um, that money's tied up for 18 months, but it's not in stocks. It's in the actual physical, tangible building or the store or the investment. Philadelphia Project, outside the market investment opportunity. Um, glory be unto your name. We ain't got to the third one yet. But the healthcare is a portfolio investment. That means my money's tied up for 90 days. It's in the stock market. $250 minimum investment uh, contribution to get started into the healthcare sector community portfolio or $5,000 maximum. This particular portfolio does offer a dollar for dollar match rewards program. So $250 becomes $500, $5,000 becomes $10,000. Your money matures in December, which will be the fourth quarter. So, but in order to get in for your money to mature in December, making it available, available for what? We told you we're in open enrollment. When you're in open enrollment, what can you do? You can cash out, close, and dissolve. That means that you can take your money and your profits and your match and run. Hallelujah! God said make a way for escape. Or you can stay invested. So if you got in today and you decided to join the uh, healthcare sector community portfolio, you invested $1,000. IGP, which is Investment Group Partners, will give you $1,000. That money will then grow over the October, November, December. Between December 22nd and January 22nd of 2025, December of 2024, going into January of 2025, you that money matures, which means that if you want to take the thousand dollars you invested the thousand dollars we gave you and any increase that money earned you can that's called cash out close and dissolve how many times can i do this 
four times a year. Four times a year you have open enrollment. Four times a year you can update your portfolio. Four times a year you're going to get a statement. So don't look for a platform. There's no platform where you can watch and see it grow. Now we are creating an investment portal. Come on, y'all. Look at God. Hallelujah. This investment portal will allow you to see all of your investments, whether they're outside the market investments or whether they're portfolio investments that ties your money up for 90 days inside the club. The, this platform or this portal allows for you to see everything under one umbrella. Now, we're testing it out, but we're testing it out in real time with those people that are in the Philadelphia project. So that means that you get a chance to see exactly what is going to be done, how it's going to operate. If you're already in the TPP program, log on. There's a QR code. If you're not with TPP and you want to learn more about TPP, you need to sign a non-disclosure agreement, an NDA. That NDA allows for you to join us on these calls. we got a call coming up tomorrow. Tomorrow! Tomorrow! It's always tomorrow. All right, so we do have a call tomorrow for TPP. Uh, what else is going on? Oh, man, I'm talking inside of the Community Investment Club. I don't want to talk about the election. I don't want to talk about the war in, in Jerusalem. I don't want to talk about the, uh, the, 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 the floods. I, I want to talk about what's going on inside God's kingdom. Because remember, we serve a government. And that's the thing that God wants you to stay focused on. When Christ told Peter to come to me, Peter began to walk on the water. And God said when Peter, Peter was walking on the water, he was performing a miracle inside of his own eyes so he could see. But the minute he focused on things around him, which was the storm, he began to sink. So I need you to focus on what's going on in God's kingdom. Matthew 6.33, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things will be added unto you. Take no need for tomorrow, for tomorrow will take care of itself. Stop focusing on what's around you and start focusing on what God has called you to do, called you to say, called you to be. Thus important. You're going to operate and function inside of a carnal world, but you don't have to be like these people. Y'all don't want to talk to me. You don't have to be like them. This is an operation that we have to do all day, every day, without fail, no exception. God says that we, Paul said inside of Romans, that we're led to the, we're led, led daily to the slaughter as sheep. That's the world doing its best to destroy God's people. That means that we are servants. God placed us on this planet to take care of the planet. It's up to us. I can't trust the government. Y'all better talk to me. If I ever run for president, you think they're going to come back on me? Say, I can't trust the government. Hallelujah. But I want to tell you something. This is up to us. This is up to us. It's not up to the world. Everything that God has placed in, under us is a responsibility. You got to be ready for that responsibility. Second Chronicles 714 NIV version. If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and I will forgive their sin and I will heal their land. That's ownership. We are stewards of God. My job in the body of Christ. I am not your pastor. You got one. Go talk to him. I am not your bishop, your overseer. I am not the mother, the deacon, the father of the church. My name is Apostle Harold Elam Jr. I am the CEO and co-founder of Investment Group Partners. My calling inside the body of Christ is to teach you how to be a better steward of God's time, God's word, God's money. My job in the body of Christ is to help you better establish, manage, and maintain the framework of your family's financial future. My job is to make sure God's people look like God's people, act like God's people. People, respond, operate, move like God's people. Hallelujah. We're a light. We're an example. Some of y'all are a bad example. I'm just telling you. Paul. You no, know, it wasn't Paul. David. Thank you, Holy Spirit. David said, I once was young. Hallelujah. But now I'm old and I've never seen the righteous forsaken, nor his seed begging bread. We're not supposed to want for anything. But yet and still, we've allowed the world to convince us that we broke. We allowed the world to convince us that we're poor. First thing, y'all, some of y'all need to do. I'm, I'm, I'm just flipping through the scriptures. What we got? 
We got let we are 1019 on the West Coast. 119, 10, 11, 12, 1. 119 on the East Coast. I'm gonna go to the amplified version. Romans 12 and 2. Hallelujah. Why we need the amplified version? Because some of y'all ain't saved. Some of y'all don't know the word. Some of y'all do know the word, but don't read the word. A guy that don't read the word and know how to read is just as bad off as a guy that don't know how to read. Anyway, Romans 12, 2. And do not be conformed to this world any longer. I'm reading from the Amplified Version. And do not be conformed to this world any longer with its superficial values and customs. This world, because this world is ran by the enemy. Y'all don't want to talk to me. Our job is to infiltrate the world and change the minds of the people. That's why God said we're light. This is a war. Hallelujah. Do not be conformed to this world any longer with its superficial values and customs, but be transformed and progressively change as you mature spiritually. Some of y'all need to grow up. And by the renewing of your mind, how do I grow up? By the renewing of your mind, how do I get mature? By the renewing of your mind, how does this work? By the renewing of your mind, focusing on godly value and ethnical attitudes. How do I renew my mind? Focusing on godly values and ethnical attitudes so that you may prove for yourselves you got to do this for yourself what the will of god is what that what what the will of god is that which is good and acceptable and perfect in his plan and purpose for you now only reason i read the the amplified version because i need you to get a better understanding of what god has for you there's a position of purpose so there's three things that god called us to do inside of proverbs 13 22 we're talking about generational wealth i am not a hireling a hireling would teach prosperity but will not teach you how to prosper that means that he'll tell you how to fish then once you fish bring the fish to me when you hear that then you know that's a hireling that's the trick of the enemy but if i'm teaching you about generational wealth i'm gonna be there with you until you grow. I'm going to be there with you until you understand. I'm going to be there with you until there's a complete understanding and implementation in implementation into your household pertaining to the biblical scriptures on stewardship. I need to see you grow. I need to see you get better. I need to see you get wealthier. I need to see you start teaching this to your family step by step, line by line, here a little, there a little. So when we are not conformed, to this world any longer, we move ourselves in a position of purpose. We can no longer trust the superficial values and customs of this world. We got to be transforming progressively, means this is an all day, every day, without fail thing, progressively change and mature spiritually. How do I mature? Second Timothy 2.15, study to show yourself approved unto God while in position. A work in the need of not to be ashamed while in position. Rightly dividing the word of truth while in position. Doesn't matter where you are, read. Doesn't matter where you are, pray. Doesn't matter where you are, faith. Doesn't, you can faith your way into existence. You can faith your way into a deliverance. You can faith your... Now faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. Hebrews 11 and 6. Let me go. Let's go. Hallelujah. Hebrews 11 and 6. I'm still in the Amplified version so you can get an understanding. These are biblical principles. These are characteristic traits you can apply to your everyday activities. All day, every day, without fail, no exception. I ain't a Sunday Christian. This is a lifestyle. This is what I do all day. This is who I am. Doesn't matter where I'm at. Hallelujah. In my grave. Hallelujah. Y'all don't want to talk to me. But without faith, it is impossible to walk with God and to please him. But without faith, it is impossible to walk with God. Who are you walking with if you ain't got no faith? But without God, it is impossible to, but without faith, <laughs> without God, it's impossible. Hallelujah. But without faith, it is impossible to walk with God and please him. For whoever comes near to God must necessarily believe that God exists and that he rewards those who earnestly and diligently seek him. Wow. Guys, if you're just now joining, my name is Harold Doolin Jr., I'm the Internet Guy from Investment Group Partners, CEO and co-founder. We're the Parent Association over Community Investment Club. Many of the people I'm looking at on the line, hi, hi, how are you? All of you are active investing members. That means that we're in the middle of open enrollment. So, guys, listen to me. We got a lot going on. So I'm asking every one of you guys be patient with us. Hallelujah. We got a new system going on. If you're part of the Philadelphia Project, you get a chance to see the new system. Everybody be wanting a new system because open enrollment sometimes can get longer than we want it to be. But we're asking you to be patient and pray for us because we got growing pains. But growing pains are good. 
good. You hurt when you're exercising, but guess what? You're losing weight. You hurt when you're training for the triumphant line, but guess what? You got a chance to have momentum and keep going and stamina. It hurts when you're trying to be delivered, but once you come through, you're going to feel better, look better, be better. See, so sometimes growing pains are good. That's my position of purpose. So guys, we got a lot going on. The new system is going to be awesome. If you want to join on the call tomorrow, you have to sign an NDA. I'll put a link down there or send us your email address or just tell me right now inside of this conversation, I want an NDA. And then I'll email Valerie Stewart, Lion Share, let them get you out an NDA. We got the Philadelphia Project. That's what the NDA is for. That's the most I can say. But I can talk about Indo, Indo. It's cannabis. If you got a problem with cannabis, you don't want to invest in this. So we have two ways that you can earn money in the cannabis market. It's a $15.86 billion market. Let me say that again. $15.86 billion market. And by 2030, it's going to grow to $66 billion. We're coming. There's three ways to break into cannabis. There's three elements of that part of the economy, medical marijuana, which in North Carolina, not legal yet. Then they have recreational marijuana in North Carolina, not legal yet. Then they have CBD. CBD is what we're entering to 100% all 50 states legal. So as we enter into the, the cannabis market, you have an opportunity. One, you can invest in RTO in yourself. That's the company we did business with. It's a right on brands incorporated. It's a text. It's a Nevada based corporation doing business in Texas. Hallelujah. They have brands from everything for alternative living lifestyles. I was showing some of the brands the other day to roll on. Listen, off right is pain. Pain is called ease. Look at that. I'm, I'm selling online. Indo. Indo ease. This is the stuff that's going to be in our stores. That's just a fraction, a small fraction of the products that they make. The, the Indo brand, you can buy the stock yourself, but in order to buy it, you got to have E-Trade, E-Trade, E-Trade. You need to download E-Trade or you got to have uh, Charles Schwab. Only a few stock, only a few brokerage accounts even allow you to buy the stock yourself. That's one way. The second way you can break into Indo or you can break in the cannabis market. We have a portfolio, the uh, domestic group investment fund, DGIF has a minimum investment of $100, maximum of $2,500, but they're about to lift that. We're about to get approval, so DGIF is going to be just like NEIF. Right now, pertaining to members, it can have as many members as it want. We were waiting on a couple of guidelines from the SEC pertaining to investment clubs so we can make DGIF of 3C7. So that means it's going to be unlimited amount of money you can invest and we can match. But we can only match the amount that we're up to. If you put a million dollars, we'll give you a million dollars. Under management right now, we have a little over $18 million. That includes everything in the stock market, everything in our endowment account, and money that we have invested in other things. But that what we have under management belongs to all of us. Collectively, we're greater together. God has given us a platform, and that's just the beginning. The end result goal for us is to have 5,000 active investing members and have 1.6 trillion under management. We have seven years of prosperity. Anybody that knows me know I've been talking about this seven years of prosperity, seven years of positioning, seven years of wisdom, seven years of God molding us, placing us in the right place so we can be ready. Because in year eight, eight means change, new beginnings, it's going to be a famine on the land. I don't know how else to say it, but to tell you, it's going to be a famine on the land. And now God said, now we're really going to work. He showed you COVID was just the beginning. COVID was something he was getting us ready for, letting us know, guess what? I'm coming back. But right now I need my people to be ready and we have to be ready. This is an all day, every day without fail type of thing. This is not something you play with. Some of y'all think you feeding the homeless. Wait till year eight. So right now, God has got us positioning ourselves so we can learn, so we can be prepared. He's making us better, stronger, wiser. He's put, putting us in a position socially, financially, so we can feed the homeless. So we can house the, the people that don't have a house. We can, we can help the orphans. We can build houses. We can have farms. We can have whatever we want because God said the land belongs to us. But we have not been good stewards in the past. So over the next seven years, actually, we're in year two of the seven years. Hallelujah. If you got an email from us lately, read the email. Do I have to go back to the scripture? Hold on, because some of y'all ain't reading the emails we're sending out. You're just scanning through them. Scripture said the Lord says to Moses, I've seen these people and behold, they are stiff necked, stubborn, rebellious people. Hosea, the prophet said, my people perish because of lack of knowledge. 
I'm asking you guys. I'm begging you guys. I'm beseeching you guys. Read. Read your word. Pray. Believe that God can, even when you think that he can't. Even if he don't, you got to be like the Hebrew boys. They told old King Nebuchadnezzar, say, even if our God don't save us, we know that he can. That's the faith God wants you to walk in. And I'm asking you, learn to live that life in the position where God has you at. Stop looking across the aisle and thinking you can have what they have. You don't want what they have. In your position, where you are right now, say, God, what would you have me to do? Because whatever he gave you, remember, we started out in Matthew 25 and 14. And we were talking about getting a return on what God entrusted to you. Everything he gave them men or them women or them people, he gave it based on their ability. So whatever you got right now is based on your ability. Whatever position you're in is based on your ability. And God says where you are right now, if you could be faithful over a few things. Hallelujah. <laughs> I'll make you ruler of many. But he needs to learn to trust you first. The more I trust you, thus saith the Lord, the more I'll give you. And the more I give you, thus saith the Lord, the more I require of you. Too much is given. Much is required. And as we grow, the requirements change. They increase. And we got this together. Guys, let me let me give you this. Because somebody in the Holy Spirit telling me don't believe. So we have a monthly membership rewards program. We broke a threshold last month. No, the month before. So what was it? August, we sent out $268,000. One month. One month. On an average, I think about 20 people, one month, one month on average, I think 20 people, let's say 25. I don't know the number for sure. We're going to say 25. We sent out $268,000 and we're going to divide that by 25. So on average, our members are getting $10,000 a month of tax free, no need to report income, their rewards on average. Well, September, y'all ready for this? We beat that threshold from August and we sent out, watch this, y'all better talk to me, $350,000. Let's do it again. Same amount of people. Divide that by $25, $14,000. So the average dividend return that people are getting through our monthly membership rewards program is $14,000. Some get more, some get less, but they get it every month. And you can talk to one another. See, that's the engagement I, I, I encourage everybody to do. Inside, you're on a Facebook page right now. When was the last time you said hi to somebody? When was the last time you posted a photo of you and your wife or you and your church and say, hey, my name is so-and-so. I just want to stop by and say hi. There are over 2,000 people inside of our community. I'm asking you to engage. I'm asking you to fellowship. You don't have to be present to fellowship, but you can be present right there and fellowship with each other. Right now, I'm encouraging everybody that's on this feed today. Put down, not in this box, but on the main page. Post a photo. I'll start as soon as I finish. Hey, I'm sitting in my office at the house right now. Just wanted to say hi to everybody. Because I want you to start engaging with one another. The Bible says that iron sharpens iron. And watch this. We're overcome by the testimonies of the saints. Y'all ain't sharing your testimonies. Y'all ain't saying how God done bless you. And God done bless many of you. Some of y'all getting $25,000 a month. That's just financially. Some of y'all have been healed. Some of y'all have been delivered. Some of y'all have got better jobs. God is blessing us because of our obedience. And we're still not, we still don't have it right. So there's much more he wants to do for us. What time is it? 1033. So listen, this has been the afternoon update. We don't even have a name for this podcast. I just happened to do, we did it. We used to do it consistently, but we started the 730 drop and it got so popular. But because we didn't do the 730 drop, I want to do afternoon updates. Let me give you some updates real quick. TPP, we have a meeting tomorrow. You want to join that meeting, you need an NDA. I need your email address or tell me in the feed, this feed right here, I need an NDA. We have the... Uh, uh, um, the medical wigs partnership. We didn't talk about that. That's where we're opening up uh, salons 
throughout the country that's going to do medical wigs. We're starting right here in Las Vegas. Sam Stephenson IV, my Joshua, has uh, plans for the opening store. I think it's October 12th. I think it's his grand opening. We partnered with a young lady called Kawanza Harris. She has the brand. We have the knowledge and we have the financing. And we're going to take that brand and turn the medical wig partnership. It's where you actually get medical wigs. We're signing deals with, guess what? Veterans Administration, insurance companies, people that take uh, chemotherapy. They need the wigs. We're going to design them, build them, and then we're going to offer them. So that's the medical wigs partnership, $2,500 minimum investment. Most people are sleeping on this one. We invested ourselves, meaning me and my wife, we invested $15,000 because I wanted you, you're a partner. So that understand the mechanics of how that will work. You probably want to talk to Sam Stephenson the fourth or send me an email, but the minimum investment is $2,500. There is no max. You put in what you put in your partner, your, your investment, um, justifies your percentage of your partnership. Then we have the uh, Indo, Indo, Indo is coming. Hallelujah. Hey, listen, I'm going to be doing an Indo party, not me, myself. I'm going to be there videotaping for Indo. So I decided to follow my family. They got a, uh, they got a birthday coming up and I talked to Jerry Gasapi. He's the, uh, the uh, CEO or, the, or the, he's the founder because they have a new CEO. Roy Hammonds is the new CEO of Right On Brands Incorporated. We did a deal, a partnership with uh, Right On Brands with their signature brand, which is Indo. Indo is uh, the name of their stores. It's their signature brand in their stores. We're going to be opening up 25 stores on the East Coast from Maine to Miami on the I-95 corridor. We're starting in North Carolina. These stores are going to be open. The first one opens a soft open on Friday. Uh, these Indo stores will sell... Um, um, CBD products, hemp products, alternatives, and um, just great, man. All we're doing is duplicating the efforts and the success that Right On Brands have already had in Texas with their Indo brand. We're expanding the brand through investment group partners, through our community investment club. It's an outside the market investment opportunity, your chance to get in where you fit in. Here's an opportunity to invest in the cannabis market. It's a $15.86 billion market. We're coming in the back door under CBD hemp products, THC levels, because it's legal no matter what. But we're strategically opening up stores in states that are on the border of legalizing cannabis. If you got a problem with cannabis, you don't want that investment. The return is going to be phenomenal. You're investing in the first 25 stores, um, $2,500 minimum investment, $25,000 maximum investment. You can buy different lots until the shares that we're issuing, private placement shares are sold. You're, you're a partner, you're an owner in these stores. So that means that at the end of 18 months, that's how long your funds will be tied up. How can I get in that? You can CCT. We're in open enrollment. You can take money that you've earned in the stock market through your portfolios. That's your 90 day investment. You can cash out, close and transfer to get into those investments. The difference with the 90 day investments, that's investing in stocks, stocks to trade every day. We do it Monday through Friday, all day without all day, every day without fail. No exceptions. Hallelujah. But once you uh, do a CCT, those funds are then transferred out of your portfolio into one of the uh, outside the market investment opportunities. It could be for TPP. It could be for the Medical Wigs Partnership. It could be for the uh, North Carolina Wellness Centers doing business as endo dispensaries and wellness centers. This is a great investment, great opportunity. Every quarter we come up with an outside the market investment opportunity. It gives you a chance to take the money you've earned, whether through match through dividends, through increases in the stock market and invested in something tangible. You want to have seven or eight different streams of income. I'm going to give you that scripture on the commitment that God looks for you came from the richest man in the world. We know him as Solomon, but God said there will be nobody richer than him. I'm just telling you, but in Ecclesiastes, let me find my scripture. Ecclesiastes 11, one and two, I'm going to read it for you. It says, ship your grain across the sea. After many days, you may receive a return. There's your investment. There's your risk. But God tells us because of the risk, invest in seven ventures. Yes, in eight. You do not know what disaster may come upon the land. It is imperative that you know how God moves and operates. He's given us the rules, the regulations and a roadmap to get to the end result. But because we're not fully paying attention because we're not fully implementing God's word because we're not fully understanding what God would have for us. We're broke. Now, some of us got the tithing thing down pat. Hallelujah. Some of us got the deliverance thing down pat. 
Hallelujah. Some of us got the faith thing down pat. Hallelujah. But every part of the body, God gives us a gift from somebody to implement teaching because faith is good for me. And the Bible says that faith come by hearing. And how can they hear without a preacher? And how can he preach lest he been sent? So everybody has a gift inside the body of Christ. It has to be utilized for the body of Christ. Does that make sense? I need it to make sense for you because it makes sense to me. Ephesians 4.11, you read that on your own. And it'll tell you about some of the gifts. That's just some. Hey, my name is Harold Dillon Jr., Internet Guy. This has been the Afternoon Updates with Harold Dillon. It's lunchtime on Wall Street. Time for me to get back to trading. I prayerfully hope and pray that you guys have a wonderful day. If you need additional information, please just put down at the bottom, I'm new. Send me additional information. If you want to learn more about the programs that we got going on, read the newsletters. Or send me an email saying I need information on the programs we got going on. Some of y'all are just not reading. To God be the glory. Good afternoon.